Hey, good optometry morning. So you have diabetes and someone has told you that you need to get an eye exam. Why did they tell you that? Was it because they think you need new glasses? Was it because they think you might need eye surgery? Do they think you might go blind? Well, you are in luck because by the end of this video, I'm going to tell you about the most common eye problems that you might have if you're diabetic. And we are starting right now. Hey, I'm Dr. Michael Nelson, your YouTube eye doctor, and as promised, I'm going to tell you about the six, six most common eye problems that no one has ever told you about for diabetes. So number one, let's talk about glasses prescription chain. There's something called hyperglycemia. So hyperglycemia is when your blood sugar levels are too high. And so most of the time, the time that you have the highest blood sugar levels is before you're diagnosed with diabetes. That can cause changes to the natural lens inside your eye. And it can cause that natural lens to swell and change its shape and change how it bends light. And that can cause your prescription to change. And so it's very common that optometrists we will see a patient, we will find some unusual prescription change in their glasses and we'll often say, hey, when was the last time you had a physical? When was the last time you had your blood sugar levels checked? And it's not uncommon that they will find out, hey, we have diabetes. And oftentimes after they get treated, their prescription might go back to similar levels of what it was. And once you are treated for diabetes and your sugar levels remain pretty constant, your prescription doesn't change that much anymore. All right, number two, dry eye disease. So dry eye disease doesn't sound like that big of a deal, but it really is. So it can cause blurriness, sore, uncomfortable eyes, red eyes, and it's really a big deal. And so over half of those with diabetes will suffer from some form of dry eye disease. And here's the reason why. When your insulin levels are off a little bit, that changes how the lacrimal gland will produce tears. And, and so you won't produce as many tears as you typically would otherwise. And the other thing it will do is that when your blood sugar levels are higher, that will cause an increased inflammatory processes throughout your entire body, including some of the glands that produces another part of the tear that prevents it from evaporating. And so your tears not only won't have as many tears, but the quality of the tear won't be as good and it will evaporate faster. And thirdly, you'll get dry eye disease because diabetes also affects our nerves and the delicate nerves in our corneas can be affected. And those are the nerves that are needed to help regulate the amount of tears that you get on your eyes. All right, number three, glaucoma. Now, glaucoma is an eye disease of the optic nerve, and often it's related to your eye pressure. And so basically, your eye pressure might increase, and if you happen to have a very delicate optic nerve, that increased pressure can damage that nerve and cause it to die. Now, people with diabetes have about an almost a two times increased risk of developing glaucoma than those that don't have diabetes. So if you have diabetes, make sure your eye doctor is looking for glaucoma. Number four is cataracts. So on my channel, I talk a lot about cataracts and I've told you before that, that a lot of them are age related, but if you have diabetes, you will often get cataracts earlier than typically. And the reason why is because there's a substance called sorbitol in our body and that substance will cause tissues to swell. And so when you have increased glucose levels in your blood, that will cause an increase in the sorbitol in our body. And in, included in that is in your lens. And so your lens will get more sorbitol in that, and that will cause that lens to swell. And when it swells, it starts to lose its transparency, and you will start to develop cataracts sooner. So people with diabetes will often develop cataracts a little bit sooner than otherwise. All right, number five macula edema. Okay, so let's talk about these two words. Macula refers to a specific part of the retina that deals with your central vision. That has, it has the highest concentration of cones, which are the receptors that deal with your detailed vision. And so the macula is the area that will, deals with your detailed vision. Edema means swelling. And so in macula edema, your macula will be swollen and that will cause reduced vision and that can happen in diabetes. And it's a big thing because it's the number one reason why people will typically have blurred vision with diabetes. Okay, and number six, diabetic retinopathy. So this is the big one. This is the one you absolutely have to look out for. So diabetic retinopathy is basically when the blood vessels on the retina, that's the tissue that collects a signal and it's like the film of the camera for your eye. What happens in diabetic retinopathy is the blood vessels, they start to leak fluid and leak blood and then you start to get swelling all throughout the retina and that can result in some severe vision loss problems. And so the longer that you've had diabetes and the worse control that your sugar levels have been while you have diabetes, that means you're gonna more likely have diabetic retinopathy. 
So this is why everyone that has diabetes should see their optometrist every year to look for diabetic retinopathy. Knowing if you have diabetic retinopathy is really, really important. But here's a little secret. There are some things about diabetic retinopathy that your eye doctor has not been telling you. And if you want to know about those things, this is the video you should be watching right now. And with that, have a great optometry day.